guys, it's Brie. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to use cloth menstrual pads when you're at school. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't using cloth menstrual pads when I left school. I had to leave school actually around this time last year or kind of the end of February last year um, in 2013. I had to leave school because I was really sick. And it wasn't until after that that I actually discovered cloth menstrual pads. But I was using a menstrual cup when I was at school during the last couple of weeks actually. It wasn't very long I was using menstrual cup there. But that's what led me to cloth menstrual pads. However, using cloth pads at school and using cloth pads out and about is very, very similar. So I'm sure I could give you some big tips. And obviously, I did go to school, so I do know what it's like when you're there. So the first thing I recommend is you have a little pouch like this. This is just a wet bag, so it's lined with PUL. And um, it's by Bamboo Tea. It's actually a nappy company that came free with one of the nappies that someone gave me. Um, I don't have a baby, obviously, but, you know, just for future stuff. And it's just got a simple zipper like this. It's one-sided, so it's only got one hole and all the pads are in there. So the next thing you want to do is you want to work out how many pads you roughly use in a day. When I was at school, I think it was about three, I would put a new one on before I went to school. And I was at school roughly from, well, my school day while I was at school was from eight till four. So I'd get up and leave at about 7.30 and I'd be back home about 4.30, I reckon, maybe a little later than that because I was quite away with from my school, I used to have to drive there for 45 minutes. Um, but yeah, so basically, 8 or 4 when I was at school. When I got to school, you know, before I left to go to school even, I would put a clean pad on. Then at first break, which was after 3 45 minute lessons, I would have, I'd go to the bathroom and change it. Then at lunchtime, which was two lessons later, two 45 minute lessons later, I would change it again. And then I'd change it just before I got in the car to come home, which was after three 45 minute lessons. Or I'd change it kind of part way through. So I only needed three pads. Um, for being at school. I would have recommend that you have five cloth pads with you just because you never know. You want to kind of work out how heavy your flow is. You might need to make these heavy pads, you might need to make these regular pads or whatever. Uh, usually when I was on my period because I was kept going to the toilet at regular breaks I never needed to go other than that but sometimes you do need to go just in the middle of a lesson and then you'll obviously need to change your pad. You might not need to change it again after that but you might want to change it again just before you go home or something. So it's always good to have an extra one in here. So for me that would be four, but again five just in case because you never know. So the first one, I'll just I'll just grab these all out. So these five pads were in that little pouch I had here, just folded up. Um, so this I'm just gonna go through them really quickly, seeing so which brands they are. This is an Essence of Eve Moderate Flow, Moderate Flow. This is a Mimi's Dreams, I think again regular flow, just the other fleece fact. This is a Creations by Five, I think it's nine inches long, cotton topped. Uh, this is a County Cloth Creations, and this is a Tree Hugger. Tree Hugger is the only one of these four brands that has her own website. These are all sold on Etsy. So, first of all, why the hell would you want to use cloth menstrual pads? Well, for me, comfort. Oh my god. Just imagine that lesson that you know you've been in when you've sat down and you cannot focus at all on what the lesson's actually about because you're trying to fight the mother of all itches because your pad's gone up your business. That situation always happened for me in biology, weirdly enough, so I've no idea what she was ever teaching in that lesson when I was on my period, but hey. <laughs> Cloth pads can be made of a number of different materials. This particular one here is a super soft polyester fabric. I don't know if you can see. It's um, something we call minky. It's super duper soft. It's also stain resistant and apparently stay dry. I have to say I've never felt the stay dry features of that. Um, probably because I have quite clotty um, period blood. But um, it's, it works. You know, some people love it so that's your choice. One of my favourites is cotton. Cotton is really, really breathable. These don't have any plastic backings, they have fleece backings like this. This helps to grip the underwear as there is no um, sticky bit on the back of them. You can see these snaps here. These fold around your underwear like you would with the wings, but instead of sticking, they snap together. And that's how it holds in place, but also these contour a lot better. And as you can see, they're still pretty darn thin. Some brands are thin, some brands are thicker than others, so you've got to bear that in mind. Uh, if you think cloth pads are going back to the olden days, this one, this is a tree hugger as I said before. This one has a special material in it called Zorb. In fact, this one does too. Let's grab a different pad for the sake of it. Uh, Zorb is a specially man-made fibre which is produced specifically for cloth menstrual pads and also cloth nappies or diapers, depending on what you are. It's um, 
pur sole purpose is for this use. So these cloth pads are designed to fit to your underwear. It's not like bits of rags torn up in your underwear. They really do work. But a big plus for me was that when I switched, my periods became shorter and lighter. My periods used to be eight days long, or seven to eight days long, now five days max, and a hell of a lot lighter. Um, you can argue about maybe, you know, the pads absorb differently, so maybe that's why it seems lighter, but you can't argue the length because I can count. The other reason I switched is just because of the cute prints. I'm obsessed with space, and so this is one of my favorite prints, the stars and everything. And as you can see, they just snap round, and they're really easy to put on. So as for using them at school, my biggest tip would probably, as I said before, to have a pouch like this. You can have a double-sided one, which you have a dry side and a wet side, so you can put the soiled ones in one side and the clean ones in another. But if you have a locker, now I didn't get my period until I was 14, so that would have been year 10 at school. That was kind of towards the end of my senior school years. And um, so I, I didn't get my period young at all. I have no idea what it would be like if you were still in junior school, but... Once you get into the senior school or high school, I think you call it in America, well, senior school, high school, whatever, uh, you get a locker. So the best thing to do is to have a pouch like this in your school locker. Now, I never used to lock mine. I would always just close it and open it and just keep it shut without any lock on it at all. But if I was on my period and I was using cloth menstrual pads, I probably would have taken the lock in and made sure I'd actually locked it when it got to my period time. Uh, another way you can avoid people is to have, if you have a pocket on you, then what you can do is ask to leave the lesson kind of midway through, so it's not towards the end when the teacher might say no wait for, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, but at a midpoint so that there's not a lot of people out and about with you. You can then grab it, put it into your pocket, go to the toilet and change it and come back and stuff. Obviously I never worried about that when I was at break or lunch, and I always used to finish lunch before everyone else, and so it was really quiet for some reason, but there were only 200 people in my entire school from age two and a half to 18, so that might have been why as well. I went to a very small school. But I would have managed this somehow, because trust me, once I discovered cloth menstrual pads, I would not have gone back to disposable, and I never will go back to disposable once I know about them. When I'm out and about, it's very simple to how you deal with a soiled one and use a clean one. You have your wet bag. Say this is a soiled pad and this is my clean one. I take the clean one out of the bag, I take the soiled one, I fold it in half like this, and I snap them together. She says you can't know snap. Like that. That will then keep this shut. Take your pouch, pop it in, and put the new one in. Again, in your pants, wrap these around the back of your pants, and snap together. And there's a new pad. It's just as simple as that. Uh, one of the things I think a lot of people worry about is smell. Cloth menstrual pads don't smell. Disposable pads smell because they have a ton of harsh chemicals in them. Cloth pads don't have those chemicals in them, therefore there's never any smell from them. Uh, if you left a cloth pad for weeks, then yes, there might be a smell because you get mildew on them. But uh, as long as you take it home, put it in your storage bin and you know wash it within a week, it will be fine. So those are my tips on how to use cloth menstrual pads at school and also kind of why you might want to use them. I personally just way, way, way prefer them to disposables. Just because for me, disposables were so uncomfortable. Even tampons would hurt. And just having these where you can't feel them and they're super soft is just great. And obviously the lighter and shorter periods bit is great as well. Some people also find that their um, periods, uh, the cramps, become less painful as well. I personally haven't experienced this, but like I said, it's only for some people. Uh, as to why this happens, we honestly don't know. Uh, there's not been a lot of research into this, so we can, o we can only guess that it's because there's no chemicals in them. But as I said, we don't know. It just seems to happen that whenever you switch, your periods get lighter and shorter, and sometimes less crampy. And it only happens to some people. It doesn't happen to everyone, I'm afraid. But for me, it was worth it because it did happen to me, and I would have switched, for, quite frankly, even if it didn't make my periods lighter and shorter. But thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please contact me on Facebook. I'm really struggling with my YouTube um, message things, so I can't reply to them. Obviously, I can't reply to everyone's um, questions because I get a lot in there. But thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I was reminded, not so gently, by one of my friends that I haven't done a proper, proper review on the Juju cup. Now, I've had this cup for quite a while. Back in June, I did do a kind of preview thing of it, in which I basically told you